Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back to Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Cole and I have one of our very special guests, Bill Jordan. How you doing, Bill? I'm doing great, guys. I hope you are. But I'm doing, you know what, Bill? I'm booming. Well, I'm I am too. I'm That's, embracing man, that, the boom. That was a quick plug. I appreciate wow. that product placement right out of the box. <laughs> we we are nothing if not commercial shills. I gotta hey, say. you know, yes. we all do it, so that's fine, and I appreciate it. Embrace the Boom, by the way, is uh, my nod toward uh, my fellow baby boomers, you yep. know, just suggesting that we embrace where, we're, where we are in life. You can't go back. Got to go for it. Mm. Got to go for it and live yep. every day to the max. Yeah, yeah. So uh, in winter, because we can see I've got my woolies on, right, my little shawl collar and stuff. Yeah, well, and, I, and I've, gotten into a, I've gotten into a flannel shirt kick this year. If I oh, see yeah? a flannel shirt, hey, yes, I don't, I don't know why. Hey, guys, guys, why don't we move on to something that would be actually interesting for our audience, uh, <laughs> as opposed to t talking about wearing our Dr. Dentons with the flap and the you-know-wear. I was kind of getting there, Art. Okay, yeah. This you is know, a smooth what, segue. This is a, one of me, the smoothest segues in recorded history. All right, right let me continue the smooth segue. When you embrace the boom, uh -huh. you have to accept that sometimes it takes the conversation a little while to get around to where you're going. Boy, does it and ever. If, <laughs> or if ever. <laughs> if, I can remember, if I can remember where I was going. No, so it was all about winter, and it was all about getting older in winter. And, of course, I'm in Southern California with Art. We don't have any of the snow. We don't have any of the real problems in winter. We got a lot of rain now that I think mm -hmm. about it. But for you, back on the East Coast, you get some snow. You don't get a lot in the Carolinas, but you get you know, some we, snow. Generally, sometimes we do, and sometimes it'll, it'll shut the place down for, for days. Um, what I like about it now is being older and being semi-retired from my previous career as a morning radio guy. If there was a snowflake in the forecast... I needed to get into a hotel near the station because back then I was considered essential personnel. Oh, yeah. Now that I am no longer essential personnel, it can snow all it wants and I don't have to go anywhere. And as long as we don't lose power, I don't have a generator and that's got to be on one of my two buy things. Uh, but as long as we don't lose power, I am quite content being snowed in. There's nowhere I've got to go. I don't go have I don't have to shovel sidewalks or clean off cars or anything yeah. else. So I can just enjoy the beauty of it. And uh, my old now my oldest grandchild who's almost 15, uh, you know, it snows kind of old hat to him, but he's fun to play with in the snow. But granddaughter's almost five and one that's uh, one and a half. Um, so the, the five-year-old's a blast in the snow. So, yeah. mm. uh, that's, the, that's kind of the beauty of getting older in it. You, if you don't have to get out and work in it. And the other thing about winter and not just snow is something I love about winter is the yard goes dormant. I love a good brown yard that I don't have to mow. Yeah, we don't have quite that same experience okay. in the, in Southern California. Yeah, our, so winter, we had, our, uh, our, our, winter, our winter is year-round, okay? So uh, yeah. it, it's really kind of unchanging. Our our seasons uh, are, what do they say, fire, mud, rain, and uh, <laughs> uh, something like that. Yeah, so. fire, mud, rain. No, but, but, Bill, I can relate because last week uh, we had a week of rain. It's mm -hmm. our winter rain. You know, instead of snow, we get rain. And I got to tell you, I was not motivated to go out i don't think i left the house for a week or darn close to it i you know took the garbage to the curb and that kind of thing and um i enjoyed it just enjoyed the idea that i was housebound for yeah. because of the rest of the year i gotta go out and weed and i gotta do the garden i gotta fix exactly. the roof and i gotta you know and if i've got my self-discipline notched up which i'm endeavoring to do and i'm a better job at it than i used to be or used to do <clears throat> is obviously spring and well for here i mean you know probably march until into early at least early november we are doing yard work yeah so i use the winter this downtime to i don't have to work on the yard but so much there's still some trimming of plants that have grown up so big past our deck line 
that I, I have to knock those hedges back, and I do that in the winter. Uh, there's fewer snakes in them than I found out. Um, but then I can focus. I can focus on the inside of the house. So I can work in my bonus room. I can get my office tidied up. I can go through my clothes. I can declutter. I can focus on what's on the inside. And I don't have to go at it hard every day, but, you know, an hour, hour and a half a day. And it's a, it's, it's a good thing to do. Otherwise, summertime comes around and I've accomplished nothing. But yeah. I do like that kind of that nesting semi-hibernation. Uh, I'm not really into binging on Netflix, but I can get caught up on some readings, a lot of podcasts I follow. So sure. And my wife's a great cook. She makes great soups. Um, so, I mean, we can just, we're just fine here, all, all huddled up. And as we say, as the TV weather guys say, hunkered down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cabin, uh, you, you don't get cabin fever, though, do you? Um, eventually, oftentimes in February here, we will have like a, a run of, 40 degrees and rain for a week to 10 days. Mm. Yeah. And that's when it's like, when that sun comes out, I yeah. want to be out. I want to get outside. Yeah, yeah. you just Because even though you're inside, even though you're inside, that rain in 40 degrees is just, you know, because you still have to go out. You still sure. have to go to the grocery store and stuff. Oh, it just yeah. wears on you. And I think I also get a little of that seasonal affected disorder, that lack of vitamin D. So I'm trying to get some more supplements in me, but I just love the sunshine in spring and summer and early yep. fall. So when we're not getting that, uh, I think there's a definite difference in my, um, definitely in my energy level. Well, I have to tell, I have to tell you, you two guys sound like old farts. Uh, well, I, 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 look, I, John, I and, like John, and I, John and I have grandkids who are almost as old as you are. <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, uh, 10 or 15 years shy of where you actually are, Mr. Boomer. And uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, John likes to, you know, hunker down uh, so he doesn't get his little toesies wet. Uh, uh, but uh, you described winter for us, which is sometimes 40 degrees when we wake up and it doesn't get to 60 degrees until like 11. And uh, we get rain. Uh, to me, I used to live in New York, so I just love the rain. I, I like to go out for a ride in the rain and to do to do chores and stuff like that. But, um, uh, you know, I get what you're saying is that because you don't have a place to go every day, uh, you know, a, an office, yeah. that you have time to do more things for yourself. But I find a lot of people, uh, unless you make a list, in my case, a to-do list, is that those things never get done around the house. <laughs> I don't go to an well, office... But I don't do it in the house either unless I have Well, you know, list. anybody can make a to-do list. You have to do the to-do list. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Uh, I actually have one in here. It's really kind of long. <laughs> I don't want to show it to you because then everybody will start calling you up and telling me, did you do item number six? Yeah. Well, uh, what you need to do, Art, you need to uh, make your to-do list and... Make your to-do list and have item number five say, do all the stuff on the list. <laughs> right. And then you have to remember to read the list. Yeah. Mm. All right. So th that's another show that we're going to discuss in the future, the difference between a to-do list and a honey-do list. Mm. All right. Oh. But for now, I just want to reconfirm, Bill, that I'm with you. It's the joy of being older that makes that hunkering down or it makes whatever we're calling it. Um, enjoying the winter, enjoying the snow, the rain. It's it's the fact that you don't have to go to work. <laughs> that's that's the joy. You can't I get that, that when you're 40. No, and again, I used to, uh, doing morning radio, if we did have kind of a blizzard come through here, I would be stuck at either the radio station or a hotel. Yeah. I think at one time, I think I was gone from home for four days. Mm. Now, that was an oddity, but, man, that just drains you. Mm. You know, and it, certainly that's nothing like our military being deployed, but, you know, for a, for a you know, a soft radio guy, that was pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, with, with all the suggesting that you're doing, uh, before we end, I want to tell you that uh, I think that you are still an essential worker to Marianne. Well, I think so. I like okay. to think so. Uh, yeah. We we help each other out, and mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a great partnership. We are indeed a team, and I'm very fortunate for that. Well, we're fortunate to have you as a friend, and we look forward to these conversations. And 
maybe the next time we'll remember what we're going to talk about when we get started. I think we brought it back around very, very, uh, very well. And if uh, I may, I'm going to I'm going to do something for you guys, because you guys are always letting me embrace the boom and talking about Bill Jordan, embrace the boom dot com, where there's a link to my 15 practices on YouTube. And it's pretty cool. And I've got some good news coming up about embrace the boom, kicking it up a notch. I'll tell you about that, you know, at some other time. But I just want to uh, encourage you, if you're watching this video, if you like it, like it underneath check the thumbs up and make a comment if you would and that actually helps this channel grow because it's a worthy channel celebrating act two with with art and john so that's just something i think we need to we need to get some interaction going here on this youtube channel as far as people liking it well great well you know what i that's will how that works i oh. will i will drink to that all right oh, okay i'll have a sip or two john good and enjoy life Embrace the boom. Bill, good to see you again. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me back. Godspeed in 2022. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.